Okay. We're going to do. We upgrade this HP Generation 8 server with all these components. We're first, we're going to start with the Intel. Then, we're going to try and <coughs> get the cables, the drive, put the card in there. We'll put this in a slot with the solid state and the RAMs in there. Anyway, let's get started. Gonna be hard. Okay, good. I'll do something first, innit? No, it's fine. No, I should be okay, I can do that. Yeah. Then I can put it. See? Put it on that first. Okay, now I can do the rest. And I can safely... And that's it. Make sure everything's out. Wait, not the movie's out. I think. Ah. Go, missing we didn't. Quite a treat that was. <laughs> okay. I do is change the CPU. Um, <laughs> Xeon pauses it. Three. Do you need a fan? Yes, no, no, we don't need a fan. Just the CPU.
that's got a tissue. Yeah. Let me take that. It's a zillion puzzle, isn't it? Wiped the. Uh, ah, so one. So one. Good puzzle, actually. Very good. Very fast. Cleaning. Good polishing. Oh, oh. No, we talk about the bubble. Right side. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, favorite part. Well, not the thermal paste. Arctic cooler sub zero. That's a job actually. That way it's way isn't it? No, it's dead. Oh, it's that way. Okay. Oh yes. <clears throat> SD card. Hmm, open, close, open. Sort of a jumper switch. Right. Okay, got that out of the way. Now we'll just do the, the rams. Oh, these, it's two rams.
Oh, okay, that's upgraded now. It's all good now. Yeah, it's all good. I'm going to have to kindly put this back in here. Somehow, carefully, so it's back in. Oh, the carpet's moving out. Okay, let's get this over here, slot you in. Okay, make sure everything's all good. That's in. That's in. One two one eighty. That's in. That's in. And that's in. Well, the next one I do now. We're going to put this DVD burner, Jack Rabbit. Is this called Jack? Jack Blade in it. Jack Black. Jack Blade. What's it called? That's his name. Is Anyway, it has to be a nine inch. Has to be a nine inch. It has to be a laptop. It has to be a laptop burner, a laptop DVD burner, or a laptop Blu-ray burner. But it can't be a regular eleven millimeters. It has to be nine point five millimeters to fit in here. I did put the normal one, but it doesn't fit. So what I have to do first involves me taking this out. Okay, <clears throat> I have to pause for a second so I can put the bike lights so you see more stuff here. So what I'll do first is I'll take all these drives out. I'm do the full feature. I'll put it there. So take it. Might have to buy it just in case. Magnet. We're now going to install the HP Jack Black DVD burner onto this server here. We need some few cable cables. Okay, Wayne. Okay. In here, it's a good view. Now it's better. All right, it's good for you here. Tricky. Got it in.
make sure you do a cable tidy in. I'm going to do is put over it. Like that. Much better. There you go. Quite straightforward. All right. Oh, Let's see, Let's get the bag out. That's what we're going to do. Do some sort of a Caddy adapter. You can fit in like solid state or laptop hard drives into the big ones. Let me find the right screw for it. So that was probably this one, I think. I think this, this one here should go in here. Yep, that's the one. Do it carefully. Okay, so I don't need these after all. So it's make sure it's tight, yes it is. And then you can put on these brackets. Ah, oh, it's this again. I know it's that way. So it's going to be that way. Right. Let me find that screw. Oh, it's tight. Okay. I got a screw for this, got a screw for that. It's right here, see? See? Goes in there. It's more hard to use actually, so I just use these screws. It's much easier.
works that way. Do I need lights for this? No, it's not. Tricky to put in. Let's do center here. That's better. And now we're going to do we need some lights. Light do. Alright, yep, we might need to shine it a bit. Uh, well, too bad, but okay. So that's number two. Because the first one's going to be the hard drive. Two enough actually. Wait, this has to be here. Has to be here. Let's see the bit when I screw it back in. Except it's done tag, you know. Now be upgraded. We've installed a 
16GB SD card in there. Upgrade memories from 2GB to 16GB of RAM, which is maximum performance. Also upgrade the Cell 1 processor, 2.53GHz, to Intel Xeon E31265L, which is 2.5GHz. There's also a quad core. Also installed the Jack Black DVD burner onto their server. And after the upgrade of the HP Mark Generation 8 micro server.